What's up, Alula? Tell me about what you do for CIO Up Group. I am an SEO operations manager here at CI Web Group. I also dabble in a lot of different departments. So just kind of have the minor minor understanding of different parts of the marketing um, journey for clients. So what are all the roles you've had? Oh my God. So I've had local listings, um, kind of operations manager. I've had Google Ads Manager, I've had PPC Manager, um, SEO, I've just, I don't know, I've just been in every aspect of the company, I feel like, um, conversion tracking, um, yeah. All right, so recently there was a big Google leak. Talk yeah. to me a little bit about what came out of that, what was the kind of general consensus or what do you guys learn from it? I think the consensus of that uh, leak was Google has stated many things throughout the years in terms of SEO. And as SEO kind of analysts, we've been trying to, we've heard words and we've heard things, uh, you know, around um, the, 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 the area about how to perform SEO and what's, what parameters is Google looking for? And we try to kind of fit those parameters based on what we've heard and the rumors that have been out there. But, you know, I think with this leak, we got to really understand that um, Google has not always been fully transparent, which makes sense. You know, they're not going to tell you, you know, how to get your That's website true. ranking on page one, right? That's not, they want you to be able to provide value to their customers because that's what is generating the money. So I think that what we've done on our end is really paying attention to the basics of SEO and taking care of like what the basics are and how we can ensure that clients are, um, those things are taken care of for our clients. When it comes to what a keyword is and yeah. more importantly, a local keyword, how important is the geo target? What is a keyword? What are your thoughts? I think like, it's important to target different keywords in different cities. It makes sense. And, you know, the strategy is, yes, it's, it's good to have, it's good to distribute the number of keywords in all the different locations. But at the end of the day, if you're not located within that city and you don't have a GBP, your, your value of ranking on that specific city is lower. However, I think that uh, if you build the foundation at the beginning, you build out your pages for your primary city, you get rankings in your primary city, you dominate that city, and then you kind of work yourself out slowly, right? So your secondary city, let's pay attention on that secondary city while we maintain rankings in your primary city, right? And then slowly build out your rankings that way. I think that if you're trying to kind of stretch yourself then it's going to be hard to kind of get any sort of like um, momentum, right? So mm -hmm. I, I, I think that when when agencies target hundreds of cities, it's just for me it doesn't make sense, and I feel like it's a, a lot of wasted money on clients because they're not they need to build a momentum that makes sense and is consistent um, throughout their journey. What happens, what do you notice with traffic once we get 100% of their keywords on page one of Google? We've got tons of clients that start with us. They start off with a specific plan. We build out all those pages. We start um, doing SEO. We get those pages to rank on page one of Google. And then they don't continue to add on to their plan. They don't continue to scale. They notice an uptick in total call volume. They're doing more business. They've increased revenue, but the SEO plan stays the same. What do you notice? Yeah, usually, you know, there'll be a consistent uptrend for a little bit, and then it's just flat for a long time. And, you know, during this period, we always reach out to our clients. We're like, hey, like, we're noticing this trend. I think it's time to upgrade adding additional services or adding an additional location. However, since they're still getting that consistent call volume, maybe they're not considering it. But at some point, it will start to go down a little bit. 
or even just consistently go straight for a long time. And I think that it's important that once you see that trend to really start picking up the the um, the gun a little bit and start really going more aggressive. Uh, yeah, progressing and adding additional locations or cities. Is there any point in time where you have, when you're done with SEO and you're done with the website and it's completely perfect, or are these reports just a snapshot in time of things that are already in the workflow and being prioritized because there's so much to do? What are your thoughts? I think, first of all, like it's important to understand that these reports are not 100% accurate. Um, I think a lot of these different tools that give you this type of data, um, it's at a very high level and that, um, in most cases we, you know, our agency, we were already, we're using the tool that you're running the reports on and have already identified this. And it's a continuous kind of, um, maintenance of these issues on a regular basis. So that's why we can never stop SEO. There's no such thing. If you stop SEO, you're gonna we're gonna stop optimizing your site for page speed. We're gonna stop fixing errors that come up on a daily basis. We're gonna stop submitting um, links that are toxic. Like all of these things have to happen for uh, for your site to be healthy, um, for Google to recognize it as an authority. Um, and maybe in, in some cases, you know, like you might run into issues with malware or viruses, you know, so it's, I think it's, it's, we deal with it on a daily basis with <clears throat> clients just getting these automated. Now they're just AI automated reports that, you know, um, they not connected they, to search console. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a, nothing that's tangible. That's connected to any actual platform that's verified. Um, that's within the site. So really just trying to um, make sure that our client understand that a lot of these um, platforms uh, need to be taken with a grain of salt. Also, we, you know, we do look at these on a, on a continuous basis and ensure that like the health of the site is, is good and that we can ensure that they, they are continuously ranking for their uh, keywords.